Hi, Internet friends. It's Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. I want to bring you a quick bonus tip today uh, to show you wind bracing, how I uh, just hit me a couple weeks ago, how I can quickly do it. Um, I'm going to get started right away. What I set up is a saved plan view for wind bracing, and that gives me all of my um, uh, dimension tools, text tools, CAD lines, layers, etc., annotations, uh, or what they call default sets now. Um, it's, I used to do it that I would do a, um, I would do a polyline and break it and make it go around and give it a solid fill you know, skip the windows, etc. Of course, that was, it looked fine, but that was time consuming. Um, because the polyline doesn't, uh, it covers up the window. Now, I could, I suppose, let's give this the, go into the polyline specification into the drawing group and put it under, um, Let's see, put it under Windows, if I put it on the wall group. It's still there, so to speak. It's it's under the window, but the window isn't exactly a solid fill. Anyway, doesn't work really well. So it, it hit me, um, I'm going to use a wall hatch. Um, I've got this set up in my, uh, in my toolbar. Customize my toolbar with wall hatching here, but you can go into build wall hatch wall. And I'm just going to hatch these walls around here. And the beautiful thing is that it goes around the windows the way it's supposed to. Now with the walls hatched like that, I'm going to shift and I'm still in the wall hatch mode. I'm going to shift select all of those wall hatches and open them and change this to the CAD wind bracing layer and switch this to a solid fill. There's my wind bracing. Now when I switch back to my CD plan view, wall hatches aren't visible because that CAD layer is not on in this um, layer set. Back to wind bracing. If I want to um, edit this, I go into my wall hatching and let's say now, for this, the engineer said just do show um, uh, CSWSP wall hat um, wind bracing all the way around, and and but if you were say to do four feet, now the trick would be to this is that um, to measure it, I'd have to do a point to point move, uh, point to point dimension, and go minus forty eight. And that would be my, um, I just take my wall hatching to the point instead of me actually measuring this. The, the beautiful thing about the um, polylines was that you could measure right to the polyline. But you can do point to point uh, measuring and um, it's all set up. Otherwise, I'm going to delete this and move my wall hatching back down here. And that's a quick and easy way to do wind bracing. Hope that helps. Have a great weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.